Hi guys, Alicia here from PE Science, and today we are gonna make my elote taco cup. So the first thing we've got to do is prepare the dip. The star of the show is the multi-purpose again. Like, who would have ever think that you'd be making a dip like this and using protein powder? So my inspiration for this recipe came from a dip from Trader Joe's that I just love, and so I was trying to just make a more macro-friendly version. You're not gonna believe that I ended up with seven times more protein in this recipe than the Trader Joe's. So I'm super excited to make it for you. Okay, so this is a super easy recipe. We're just gonna put everything in the food processor. So first, I've got some grated Parmesan cheese, three plain Laughing Cow wedges. I've got frozen corn that I microwaved for just like 30 seconds with a little bit of water. And I've got a little bit of lime juice, a clove of garlic, now in this spice blend here, I've got cayenne pepper, the Trader Joe's everything, and the elote. Also, we've gotta add a little bit of salt. It's really personal preference. Then we're gonna add in some non-fat Greek yogurt. And we cannot forget our protein powder. So I am using about 50 grams. Just need a little bit more. Okay, so now we just gotta blend it up. All right, so you want to scrape down the sides. We just want to make sure all that protein powder and all the spices are incorporated. Then we'll blend again. All right, so we're going to put the crust together, and this is just your basic two-ingredient pizza dough crust. And I know that looks a little uh, misconceiving with four things here, but it's basically because I'm using all-purpose flour, and if you were using self-rising flour, these two things would be gone. So it's technically the same thing, but we just have to add a little baking soda and salt to help the flour rise. So everything's just going into the food processor. And the reason I use a food processor rather than mixing this by hand is because it's really easy with the protein to put too much liquid too quickly because you didn't give it enough time. So the food processor makes it come together great. So salt and then Greek yogurt. So we're taking a pizza dough crust that's already pretty high in protein as it is, but now that we have the unflavored multi-purpose protein, like you can just take it up a notch. Like you can use this in everything. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all together. Okay, so as you can see, it comes together in the perfect ball, but you had to let it keep going, okay? Now we're gonna make our little taco cups. All right, so now we're ready to make the taco cups. So I've got my nice little ball of dough and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour down on a piece of parchment paper. Don't need too much. And then I'm gonna flatten it down and just start making a rectangle. This is just gonna make it a lot easier once we start using the rolling pin. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on top and then a little bit of flour on the rolling pin also, just so your dough doesn't stick. So I'm just kind of making a large rectangle. And then you might wanna just pick it up every now and then and make sure it's not sticking to the parchment paper. These taco cups are really great if you reheat them in the air fryer. So you can really use this as a meal prep. And it doesn't have to be boring. Like this is, I mean, basically a meatless, dish that's high protein, so you cannot go wrong. All right, so if you don't end up with like a perfect rectangle, like I do not have here, I'm gonna show you how you can just kinda paste the cups together. So you're going for 12. So I've got my muffin pan already sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, so we're just gonna assemble the taco cups. All right, so we're just gonna keep filling these taco cups up. All right, so now we're gonna assemble the filling and we are gonna go in with a little of the elote dip that we made earlier. And then we're gonna go with some cheese and black beans and the corn that I have in the microwave. All right, so I just took frozen corn and microwaved it for about 60 seconds. So a little corn and then a little more cheese and just to make it pretty, a little green onion. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, and this also can be your preference, but 
Just don't forget this step. We are ready to put them in the oven. I've got it preheated to 375 and we're gonna bake about nine minutes. All right, they look great. I'm ready to try one. They look how cute they are. <laughs> you guys are going to love these. They're the perfect blend of like spicy Southwest corn. Like I can't wait for you to try them. All right, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that recipe. And if you like these kind of recipes, head over to pescience.com where you can find more recipes and you can also pick up some of the multi-purpose protein powder. The sky's the limit. Use it in anything and everything. Just have fun with it. All right, guys, until next time.